Uh, my name is Maya Kržić and I am a, an associate professor of soil science in faculties of land and food systems and also uh, faculty of forestry. <music> Soil Web, that was a first collaborative project that I had and then that opened more doors for another collaboration and uh, now 12 years later um, it, the Soil Web initiative um, includes soil scientists, soil, soil undergraduate and graduate students and also multimedia developers across Canada. So these guys who are a little bit closer On every to single project that I had so far um, I had students on the, the development team. I include them from the moment of uh, proposal development. I run by the, the idea by them. And then I always make sure that there are students on the team as reviewers and advisors. If it's a glacier of As a soil scientist who's been a soil scientist now for 30 years, I see open education as a very powerful tool or pathway for soil science to open its relevance or to advertise its relevance, I should say, to the general public. The new project that we will start developing this year will involve an app that will allow students and interested members of general public to do a, a citizen science data collection. Um, that's something that was not possible even a couple of years ago. I, I use open resources in a blended model. I never would actually want to completely move into just um, online or distance education because I like the uh, personal interaction with students and I think that's very important both for students and for me because there is an ongoing feedback. With open learning uh, resources you can have video footage or some kind of engaging activity, maybe some kind of animation that follows on what's being covered in campus-based, classroom-based and even filters. It allows you to enrich um, your, your teaching and student learning.